Hello, this is Alberto with Customer Experience Centers. In this video, I am going to show you how to do OSPS route filtering. Here is the topology that we are going to use. First, make sure everything is good with your ABRs. You can see that router 2 appears with router 1 and 4. Its links belong to their corresponding areas. Similarly, router 3 appears with routers 1 and 5, with the corresponding areas in their links. Now, take a look at router 4 so FPF routes. You're going to filter 192.168.11.0/24. To do this, simply create an area range with the not advertised option in the ABR that originates the type 3 LSA for this route. In this case, router 3. Take a look at the command syntax. Now take a look at router 4 so FPF routes. You do not see the route to 192.168.11.0/24. However, there is a limitation when using the ADA range with not advertised. If you go to router 1 and check to see the SPF routes, this route is not present here either. This is because the ADA range with not advertised filters type 3 LSA from non-backbound area to backbound area. In this case, from area 35 to area 0. Now look at other ways you can filter routes without suppressing the type 3 LSA from area 35 to area 0. First, remove the area range from router 3. Now verify the route is back to router's one routing table. Same for router 4. Once you have confirmed the route is back to both routers, go to the ABR that connects area 0 with area 24, in this case, router 2. First, create a prefix list that denies the route that you want to filter. It is important to make sure that the remaining routes are permitted. Then, in router configuration mode, add the command area 0 filter list prefix or SPF filter out. Go back to router 4 and check the OSPF routes. Now you don't have the 192.168.11.0/24, while the route still exists in area 0. Lastly, you may want to filter routes on a transit router without affecting the OSPF database within an area. For example, you could want to prevent the 192.168.11.0/24 from being installed in router 1's routing table while still advertising the type 3 LSA to router 2. This is called local filtering. We are going to use the same prefix list created in router 2 to filter the same prefix in router 1. Now look at router 1's OSTF routes. See how the route is no longer seen in router 1's routing table, while still having it in routers 2 and 4. In general, you can use any of these methods for OSTF filtering depending on your requirements. You can use the area range with no advertise if you simply do not want to send a specific route out the area. You can use the filter list in to an area out from an area if you only want to remove the route from a particular area. Or you can do local filtering in running table if you don't want to affect the OSTF database. Thank you for watching.